Hello, I'm Mark Aldred and I'm Head of International Sales with Origa. We're a privately owned, independent supplier of advanced software solutions to the self-service and digital banking channels. And we believe in an omni-channel customer journey, allowing the lowest cost delivery of your products and services to your customers. We offer a new infrastructural approach and support some of the latest technologies to deploy secure next generation solutions. And I'm going to be speaking about cutting edge infrastructure and emerging technologies and how they can be at the heart of the secure next generation branch model. Origa was founded by our CEO Vincenzo Fiori nearly 30 years ago with the goal of making self-service banking more usable and productive for customers and branches more efficient and flexible for banks. Vincenzo saw ATMs as a source of revenue and customer engagement and as maybe the first and greatest example of what we now call fintech. A combination of information technology and mechanics, it creates a new generation of what we now see as operational technology. But the ATM is only the start of self-service banking and there's so much more that can be achieved with the channel. Origa's objective has always been to support banks and ATM deployers as they optimize their self-service and other digital channels. Origa has always focused on deploying better self-service technology to support efficient, profitable branch banking. And it's here in branches that assisted self-service devices have started to play a significant role, but where they also represent a chance to redefine and in so doing to save the branch channel. By fully automating all teletransactions and services, this new channel can enable staff to focus on higher value functions that improve quality of service and outcomes for both the bank and its customers. Today, Origa is a global player in software solutions for self-service and omnichannel banking with clients in three continents and representatives in over 30 countries worldwide. We're proud of our Italian roots, but prouder still to be working with clients across Europe, the Americas and Asia Pacific. We're passionate about how we can partner with banks and others to help them rise to the challenge they face. Even the unprecedented, unpredictable challenges of today's worldwide health and economic emergency. We're also very well aware of the responsibility to provide secure solutions to your businesses to meet their needs within a heavily regulated market that is the constant target of malicious attacks. That's why it was so significant for Origa to acquire Lookwise Device Manager earlier this year and to rapidly integrate it into Origa's uh, solutions portfolio. LDM helps banks secure their ATMs and self-service channels with best-in-class cybersecurity. We're proud to be stepping forward to help defend banks and their customers. I'd like to focus a little on how banks and ATM deployers can seize the opportunity provided by technology, by customer behaviour, competition, and yes, even COVID, to deliver a winning strategy, combining digital channels, self-service estates, and next generation branches to deliver, to deliver more for less and protect and transform their businesses. Digitization is getting ever faster and Origa believes now is the time for banks to take a real lead. You should be using innovative technology and business practices to redesign the customer engagement strategies. This approach will generate more value and more customer loyalty. The next generation of branches will be smaller in number and scale, but they'll also be smart, customer oriented and optimally located. So what is the role of technology in this new approach to customer engagement? Today, we're in the middle of a whirlwind of change. That's nothing new, but what is new and unprecedented is the speed of the wind of change. The disruption is stronger than before and many believe its effects will outlive the COVID pandemic and become permanent. Put simply, the pandemic is making even more people change the way they engage with their bank. Many branches are being closed. Those that are open have limited opening hours. Many services are by appointment only and staff are working from home and being redeployed to alternate tasks. At the same time, consumers have been made to reduce non-essential travel and contact with others. Our town centres have become eerily quiet. Footfall on retail high streets has fallen dramatically. 
In short, branch banking has been disrupted like never before, with the result that customers, even those who weren't previously, are shifting their interactions with their banks to digital channels. So what does this look like in numbers? There are some interesting statistics appearing, which demonstrate change, uh, changes in customer habits. Ernst & Young's Consumer Index shows that over 40% of customers said their banking habits had already changed because of COVID-19. But will that change be permanent? Of course, it's too early to say, and I, I advise us all to be selective in the predictions we listen to. It's critical to make the right call, and, and maybe the trend is one we just need to see ride out. Accurate forecasting is harder than ever. What is clear is that the pace of change, including branch and ATMs closures, isn't slowing down. COVID has accelerated them. Analysts at Kearney's looked at the future of retail banking in Europe post COVID. And I'm afraid their study contains some bleak forecasts, suggesting one in four bank branches will close in Europe over the next three years. That's 40,000 locations gone forever. So what are we left with? Like online shopping, many, maybe most consumers want their banking services to be 24 seven, for there to be no friction or delays and for instant gratification. For, in, for an increasing majority of customers, digital is the channel of choice. No surprise then that Kearney's European retail banking radar suggests that seven out of 10 account openings, deposits, consumer loans and credit card applications will be digital. Despite this, other channels remain key in the case of the branch, this is because it also answers a critical social role. Customers expect banks to accept their social responsibility and guarantee service to the whole community. In the EY index, more than half of customers said their future purchasing decisions will be affected if they see their banks actively supporting the community. They expect banks to meet their responsibilities to society and that feeling is very strong. 44% saying their purchasing decisions will be negatively impacted if they see banks focusing on maximizing profits now. You have been warned. The social role of banks can be broken down into three areas. One, service to consumers. This means an assurance of access to banking. Two, services and support to businesses, being responsive and providing access to services to help businesses survive and then thrive. And three, it's the most sensitive, the value they give to the health of a community. How the presence of a bank can be a magnet for growth and stability. High streets need them to survive. So how can banks make the balance, be digital and have social purpose? How do they remain always accessible, secure and customer orientated? It requires an understanding of what they're likely to be the prime future drivers for retail and business banking. Identifying these future drivers isn't rocket science. Banks must keep on cutting unnecessary costs and optimizing efficiency. At the same time, they should also create new streams of revenue to drive profitability. And as the pandemic has made so stark, banks need to get closer to their customers. They must prioritize ways to improve customer loyalty and enhance the bank's visibility in the communities they serve. And finally, banks must maintain accessibility to financial services where there is demand. This is only partly, of course, about access to cash. It's also about access to all financial services. To deliver on these drivers, it's technology that can play a central role. Artificial intelligence and machine learning can make repetitive processes more e efficient. Smart automation reduces operating expenses. And when well-realized, chatbots can save time. They can end tedious tasks and free staff to add real value. Some AI can make banking even more human, for example, by detecting a customer's emotional state. It can even nudge its human banking coworker to say the right thing. And when you want to reduce the cost of banking, cloud computing can make a huge difference. It can make banks more agile and more flexible. Cloud-based architecture makes managing self-service devices significantly more cost-effective and productive. And as banks seek to build trust in digital, cybersecurity technology becomes more important. Banks are a target. Cybersecurity prevents and reduces the damage caused by attacks and protects staff and customers from breaches. In these ways, technology helps drive positive change. 
What you can do with remote banking technology is limitless. Using audio and video banking channels at branches through a digital video terminal, banks can offer a wealth of assistance and consultancy. What's powerful about this remote branch banking technology is how it suits the needs of older customers. It gives them reassurances. They can make requests, they can request assistance from a consultant remotely to complete a complex transaction if needed. The customer care specialist initiates an audio and or video conversation and requests remote control authorization. This allows them to guide the customer and fill out form fields to complete their request. But how far can technology go to create great customer experience in next generation banks? Technology is at the heart of the contact between a bank and its customers and can provide next generation experiences. Branches can become a welcoming and well-organized flexible environment with added value services for the customer and the community. Lounge areas so that customers can use technology while they wait. This includes, this includes bank supplied laptops, tablets and free Wi-Fi to promote the digital experience to all customers. Branches that showcase local businesses connect employers with young job seekers and promote local arts and culture are also a possibility. Dedicated business hubs in new branches to support small businesses who have suffered every bit as much as retail customers through the loss of access to services. In some contexts, you might expect these extra services to be in flagship branches only. Origa's answer and that of our clients would be that even banks in remote communities can be remodeled to offer additional services and extended hours. And this is all possible when technology is used to build a lean branch. A lean bank branch is any physical location which provides banking services that has been optimized to cut operating costs and optimize efficiency, where high levels of customer service and satisfaction can be maintained. It's technology that makes a lean branch feasible. It automates routine banking services and can have assisted self-service devices and workstations at its core. Lean branches provide access to a full set of services and with a lean branch, the saved physical space can be disposed of or can be used like spare capacity in a flagship branch. It can be used to create rental income from business services. It can offer meeting spaces for the community. Indeed, with so many bank workers working from home, their local branch can be a community office hub for them too, as predicted by Barclays CEO Jess Staley during the first lockdown. Good for employees, good for customers and communities, good for mental health and well-being, and good for the environment. With a lean branch model, banks can achieve branch profitability because of cost savings and new revenue streams. Sharing their space and technology with another organisation delivers uh, potential for even more new revenues. <clears throat> that organization could even be another bank uh, to offer competitive choice locally. Sharing space also encourages an increase in footfall and dwell time. The branch becomes more of a destination, a place people want to visit and spend time. So as a business, which is at the heart of ATM sharing initiatives across the world, we know that the technology and infrastructure already exists to support this idea of shared branches. The next generation bank branch cannot sit in a technology silo in the way our old friend the ATM has been made to by poor legacy infrastructure over decades. The investment in technology must deliver omnichannel experiences for the customer. A consistency of high quality service in branch on self-service terminals, on the web and on mobile as well as via call centre. Banks are being doubly tested by the pandemic and digital transformation and making the right technology decisions will be the difference. Branches and of course ATMs aren't going to be extinct anytime soon, but their numbers will change and how they operate for customers and in local communities will also change. And in future, the massive twin pressures to cut costs and deliver even better service isn't going to stop. One trend that Auriga predicts in 2021 and beyond is more banks sharing their spaces and services. If banks don't produce lean, smart, remote, around the clock branches, somebody else will, whether it's a community based initiative or an independent hardware deployer, it will happen. And the principles of white label are absolutely part of this new future. The user experience will follow the customer and sharing services by a third party commercial or community enterprise 
we'll see an increase in community hunger for this. Legacy branches will adapt or they will lose deposits and customers to new white label branches and fintechs. Sharing technology and space while delivering services across a range of channels to suit customer expectations is going to be a main theme of retail banking in the next few years. So hold on if you want to go faster. So thank you for your time. I was Mark Aldred from Auriga and I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you.